Just as Mercury is an outlier among terrestrials, Uranus is a similarly ugly duckling amongst the giant planets. With a featureless surface that is often overlooked for the stunning tapestries of Jupiter and Saturn, or the extreme weather storms of Neptune. But Uranus's most striking characteristic is not immediately visible simply by studying its surface. For that, we need to look beyond the planet's atmosphere, where we find its chaotic collection of satellites and ring system propagating vertically over the planet. Uranus is the only planet in the solar system which spins on its side. Unlike the other worlds, which whiz around the sun like wonky teacups, Uranus rolls through space like a snooker ball, wheeling its rings, moons, and even its magnetic field along with it. Now remember earlier how we established that the Earth's 23.5 degree tilt is the result of an impact tipping the planet over? Well, Uranus's nearly perpendicular axial inclination is also thought to be the result of a collision. A much more significant collision in fact, with a considerably larger impactor than any we've discussed so far. As we mentioned, this far away from the sun's warmth, it becomes cold enough for volatile substances like water, ammonia and methane to freeze solid and supplement the growth of planets. This would have resulted in generally larger icy protoplanetary embryos than the warmer, predominantly rocky cores that proliferated the inner solar system. The largest of these ice worlds went on to grow into the cores of gas giants, while the less massive bodies continued to roam the outer solar system, eventually encountering the outwardly migrating ice giant worlds. And around 4 billion years ago, one of these renegade icy super-Earth cores at least twice the mass of our world, rammed into Uranus, striking the giant planet in another grazing blow, and plunging into its atmosphere. This impact rolled the entire planet over on its side and supercharged its rate of rotation, shifting its momentum, gravitational influence and even its magnetic field along with it. Unlike during the Thea impact, Simulations of this collision show the progenitor super-Earth shattering inside Uranus's atmosphere, with the resulting debris largely absorbed rather than ejected. And this insertion of frictionally heated, volatile chunks that were unable to escape is what is thought to have shifted the planet's magnetic field according to this collision. Hardly any icy debris made it out into space, leaving virtually nothing for the formation of a giant impact moon like the one we see around the Earth. Instead, the only satellites emerging from this collision were tiny, asymmetric mounds of frozen volatiles, which barrel chaotically around the ice giant planet to this day, shepherding the material within its fine, dark system of 13 rocky rings. <laughs> 